Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room. Excuse me, Trading Room Recap for Monday, November the twenty seventh. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your room, and this is the address or email address if you have any questions for me. And this is a link to get into the room. It's a free room. You heard that right. It's a free room. You don't have to be a member of Trade Ideas to uh, be in our trading room. I share my screen all day long, starting around 9 o'clock, and get live on a mic at 9.05. And there is a subscription link. And again, we have a nice promo, 22% off. Uh, the promo code you'll see in the body of this uh, email that you're getting is Cyber, C-Y-B-E-R, all in capital letters, Cyber 2017. And that will get you 22% off uh, either a monthly, it'll work for the first month only, or an annual subscription, and both for our standard and premium services. All right, well, what happened with me today? Okay, well, f this is the first time in a bit that I have actually not been able to make one of these pre-market trades work. I had a lot of high hopes for this one, actually, SSC. Um, it popped up. This is the, uh, there's the area right there, this um, tan area. And let me just take a look at it on the daily to see whether or not, yeah, I think that th th this one, you know, when I looked left, there was really no resistance, uh, near-term resistance. So, I thought this was going to be a really, really good shot. Uh, it had, get back to the 15, and also get the symbol linking uh, going here so I can check the float. I think it's a very low float. Yeah, yeah, 24 million in the float. So anyway, had high hopes for this one and took the trade at uh, 449 right. Um, I think it popped up. That's right, it popped up and then back down. That's right, took the trade at 449 and then got stopped out at 435. Actually, I'm, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I am confused here, but I did take the trade at 449 and I got stopped out here, that's right, on this candle right there. And it took a 15 cent loss and afterwards it went right back up. And uh, I did. I, I missed. I missed it getting it uh, uh, back. So anyway, that was too bad uh, because it did that. But then after once the market opened, it really drifted downwards. So anyway, that was a little bit of a disappointment for me uh, to start off the day. And then this one didn't really help either. Had a, had high hopes for this one also. CDXC. Uh, this at this point was a high of the year, not of the year, a lifetime high. So a lot of. Uh, you know what? I am wrong again. What am I thinking of? There's a Holly alert, I think, that... Uh... Well, anyway, CDXE, CDXS, I'm sorry. C no, it is CDX, that's why. I'm sorry, guys, I'm just confused right now. There we go, okay. This is a high, a lifetime high. So when it popped up, you know, when I look left on the uh, daily chart, you you know and went back and there's nothing and the lifetime high right now is 25 cents away from it which is right there so i thought this had a good shot of just continuing so i took the trade just over seven let's get back to a 15 minute time chart so it popped over seven it was kind of holding its own i was watching it for a while and i finally ended up taking the trade at 7:15 right about here it's close enough right about here and then it started to drop and drop so i got out of the trade right here i had a little bit of a gain and then i and then it started to move down and as i said in the room i can always get back in and but now i'm really glad because i mean look at all you know, all the way down to 666 wouldn't you know you, you have to check your ego you can't say okay you know what i must i'm this is going to work eventually uh, i'm just going to hold on Recipe for disaster. I don't mind taking small losses, and I can always get back in. And let's see. This was from Holly SSI. And this is a small one. Uh, 26 million in the float. And the alert was at 217. Got into the trade at uh, 218. Right about here. There was the alert. But into the trade at 218. Now, this also showed up in the momentum less than 10. All right, right in this one. And as I've said, if we get an alert from one of these, and it's because, of course, we get the volume. Look at the volume bar right there. And if it doesn't continue, 
I really start to think, hmm, there's something wrong with this one because, because the good ones, they'll have at least another 15 minute candle moving up. And notice this one just stopped. Now also the market was, was bad. I mean, the market was starting to uh, drift down. Uh, and also the uh, XRT, the retail ETF, you know, it was doing this. So it didn't have a lot going for it, to be honest with you. Um, I took it because, well, it was a Holly alert. I thought, well, maybe she sees something I don't see. And anyway, the bottom line is that I got in at uh, 218 and I got out at 215. So no harm on that one. The other one that did work at a Holly was UTSI. And this was the alert at 390. Now I waited for it to break uh, four. And again, if you look on the daily chart, I don't see any resistance. You know, you look left, there's really nothing to, uh, to stop it. And it had earnings uh, four days ago. This was the reaction. And so on this day, there's a nice break here out, out of all this. So there's a reaction. And this might be, you know, after a little bit of consolidation, I might, uh, I might be a nice continuation earnings play. And so this is one that I might, might end up swinging. So I'm in, I got into that one at 413. Get to the 15 minute time. So I got into this one right about here at 413. And I took some out at uh, almost immediately at 423 and at 431. Now I added back, I added back at uh, 438. Right on this move here. So, you know, as long as it holds, if it goes down below 438, I'll probably get out of that portion that I, uh, in fact, I might get out of, uh, out of all of it, but if it, if it holds near the high and moves, moves, starts to move up, of course, I'll, I may end up swinging this one. So we'll have to see how it ends up. Now, um, a lot of the uh, Bitcoin blockchain finally took a rest today, you know, or the, the, the big one, Riot. I still have some of this. I still have some of the XNet. Uh, I did sell out of the SRACs. You know, I sort of, sort of botched that one a little bit. Should have sold some uh, here. I got into this one on Friday at 7.11, moved up here, held it, looked good in the pre-market. And then when the market opened though, I decided to just under seven, I took out, took it out. So the, uh, these bit chain, blockchain, bit chain, Bitcoin blockchains, uh, they're maybe taking a bit of a rest. This of course was the star. If you don't know what I'm talking about, take a look at the daily chart. You know, this was the absolute star. So this is maybe the first breather day. So anyway, we'll have to see. So that's about it. Uh, exciting. You know, the first day back after a lot of people took four days off, of course. Market was closed on Thursday and only half a day on Friday. So a lot of people had a nice four-day break. So anyway, that's about it for today. Turn on that chart. Bring back the capture. And again, if you want to take out a uh, subscription and take advantage of that promo code, I believe it expires tonight, 11.59 Eastern Standard Time tonight. Uh, and so it's a great deal, uh, Cyber Monday. Uh, use the code CYBER, C-Y-B-R-B-E-R, -E all in caps, 2017, and you'll get 22% off. All right, so um, we'll open the room tomorrow at about nine o'clock. And I'll start to share my screen then and get live on the mic at 9.05. So everybody have a great uh, evening and we'll see you in the trading room tomorrow. Bye-bye.